welcome back we are in episode eight slash nine yeah we doing a double episode because you know <laughs> it'd be rough out here we hard out here in the streets um excuse me so yes hey y'all welcome back hold on let me let me let me get into the hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on hey y'all welcome back 12 days of christmas we still we still going we had a little delay a few days it, it's been a rough few days because just life and i'll give y'all that update in a second okay, this episode is going to be a quick life update slash a litmus party recap so i'm gonna recap the litmus party that i had this past saturday and we're gonna do a quick life life update you know see how things are What's going on? Anything new? Anything old? You feel? But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And tap that notification bell so you know when the next episodes are coming through and beyond. You just want to keep in, you want to just keep, keep in touch because you feel me? I, mean, I got to take these glasses off because I cannot see and I might be cross-eyed. Okay, there we go. Hey y'all. Okay, so y'all might hear my kids in the background, but we, we gonna get into that. All right, so before we get into our litmus party recap, let's do a quick little life update. Sorry, I have, I'm trying to make sure they are not killing each other in there. Okay, so quick life update. Currently we are on winter break, so it is officially winter break as of this past Friday. Uh, my oldest, Sarai, she does not have school for the next two weeks, so we are home. We have been home the last three days straight, pretty much, and send help immediately. I am not okay. Um, I am not okay. <sighs> this is, um, they don't got, like, went to break camp or something for kids because... Nah, it's hard out here. It's hard out here. I mean, it's it's okay. It's not. Let me not be too dramatic. Like, um, it's been fine. It's just these girls. They have been arguing since the moment they wake up every single day. They argue and they fight and they like tell on each other. It's just so much, and it's so funny because when Kari is home with me. She's always like, oh my God, I can't wait for sister to come out of school. I want sister to be here. Oh, sister, I want sister, right? She's always asking for Sarai, always asking for her sister when Sarai's in school. Now that they're together from the moment they wake up to the time they go to sleep, it's been, it's been chaos. It has been chaos. And I don't understand. Some, something got to give, okay? Something has to give. So we, we going to have to figure something out, but this too much like this is low-key a break for me as well because of the getting up getting ready to go to school in the morning then dance class they're all from dance as well so there's no dance class this is so there's no school there's no dance so we've been home so <clears throat> everything that like we're used to doing throughout the day we're not doing we're just like kind of coasting and chilling and i'm okay with that for right now but i think after in a couple of days we're gonna have to figure something out because this is very tiring but i've been i need to and i was just telling my husband i need to get some more vitamins or whatever because my energy has been super low and i don't like that i don't like it at all so we we're gonna figure something out with that also the whole coat this omarion variant is wallin Straight wilding. Straight wilding. In these streets, like, oh, Marion, you need to relax. Like, I don't even want to get out. I don't even want to leave the house, even if we can. I don't even want to leave out the house. Like, it's, it's, it's that real right now. Um, Like, I was just talking to my friends, and basically all my friends, including myself, we all know people who, like, currently have COVID. Like, this is insane. So... <sighs> This is, we, we at a point right now where it, it's looking like uh, March 2020. Was it March 2020 when we first shut down? That's what it's feeling like right now. Our plans for Christmas, um, we will be home. Um, I may cook, I may not cook. I don't know. I really don't. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling the spirit 
to do much and maybe i don't know if it's because of covid maybe because my husband's not here i think it's mainly because my husband's not here kidding um yeah i've been feeling really really down these last few days i've been missing my man i've been missing him a lot <laughs> so i guess i don't know i just maybe the tiredness is like a seasonal anxiety depression type thing i don't know but i've been feeling super tired i've been feeling really really sad because i really really miss my husband a lot um so yeah i think it's just a combination of a bunch of stuff but yeah anywho so for christmas i actually just learned like a, an hour ago that my parents will be down which i'm excited about because they haven't really spent more than like a day down here since we've moved um so i'm excited that they're coming i know the girls will be very excited because i know they're tired of me and now I'm tired of them. JK, JK, I say that with love. But, <clears throat> so yeah, so my parents, my family will be down um, for Christmas. And I don't know. In the past, like my life, my Christmas life with my family, we really don't do much. Like we literally put the tree up Christmas Eve and then like Christmas comes and then like we just chill in the house. And my mom would cook, I think, the day after Christmas or something like that. But we didn't really have any, like, true tra traditions or anything. So, I kind of, I know that at some point I want to break that. Like, I want to, you know, make sure that we're instilling our own traditions with our children. And we have somewhat. But it feels very, like, I feel very disconnected from doing that this year because my husband's not with us. So, it feels like I can't, I don't know. I don't even have, like, the urge to, like... The tree is still not up. It's Wednesday. The tree is still not up. And I've been saying that I was going to put the tree up. I did, I've been said that I wanted to, like, put decorations up and, like, make it feel more Christmassy in the house because it's not feeling that. And I haven't done it yet because I'm just not feeling it. It's not – it doesn't feel like it's a priority right now. And like I said, it's a combination of a bunch of stuff. So, like, I understand why, but I just – I don't know. But my, my girls are fine. Like, they, they've been asking if it's Christmas Eve yet. We're keeping it really chill, really small, really calm and cute for Christmas. Um, it's really not much that I want to do because of, like, the COVID stuff. And, like, I'm just not feeling it. But I do want to make sure that my girls have, you know, a good time. Um, they will be opening their presents. Um, Santa will come. We will bake cookies. Um, we're going to do, like, some hot chocolate stuff and cookie stuff the night before. Um, and hopefully I have the capabilities of recording all of it so y'all can see um so we're gonna try to do some like traditional stuff we did this last year and um maybe we'll have like a nice breakfast christmas morning maybe i don't know we'll see i don't know what i'll be up to but either way like outside of all of my stuff i want to make sure that my girls are gonna you know look at christmas like oh my god wow i would love for it to snow like that would be a dream but global warming anyhow so yeah, that's that. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how much y'all care about my life, so I really don't know. But anyways, um, okay, hold up, skin. No, never mind. Not hold up, skin. That is my quick life update. I feel like I covered most stuff. I don't know. It's not really much. So this is like I don't really do nothing. But yeah, if y'all have any questions, if y'all want to know more, um, that's really it. So. On to the litmus party recap. Da -da 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 -da. Mm. I had to put this on for the litmus party. All right, y'all. So litmus, uh, litmus 2021. This is the second annual FTK litmus. And what that means is last year we had our very first FTK litmus. FTK is the gang. So the FTK gang, FTK stands for F them keys. F them keys. That's what FTK stands for. We love them, obviously, but you know, sometimes the adults need to adult and we need to get the kids the bullet for a little bit. The FTK gang is a gang of 
a bunch of adults, family, some who have kids, some who don't have kids. But we have game nights, like gatherings, where we're just like, FCK, it's time to turn up. F them kids, it's adult time. So that's basically what the FCK game is. And we had our first litmus last year, and that was the probably the there's no other litmus and we said this last year there's no other litmus that can top that litmus like that litmus <laughs> was wild we had games we played like we turned up it was so many jokes so many moments like we caught we captured a lot of stuff on video and we were able to like watch it back and just laugh like it was so lit it was so much fun like it just the vibes were all good all around. Like, that's what that's what Litmus is about. Like, good vibes only, turn up, have fun, all of that jazz. So, this year, we had our second annual Litmus. And each, so this, 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 is, yeah, this is the second year that's happening. So, the first year, um, we hosted it at my house, my husband, my husband and I. We hosted it here at my house. We did the same this year as well. So, because we hosted it, um, I took it upon myself to create some litmus house rules. And those house rules pretty much are, like, what we abide by um, to ensure that we have, like, a lit night. And the house rules are, like, you know, they're silly, they're fun. But, you know, it gets, it gets people's imaginations going. It gets us, like, you know, ready to, you know, be competitive and stuff like that. So, um, along with the house rules, we also play games. And there was like a series of games that we played last year. We didn't really get too much into the games this year. And I don't know why, but like we were, <laughs> I don't know. This Livers was like a little funky. Maybe because the whole gang wasn't here. But either way, um, <clears throat> we still have fun regardless. So I'm going to go over the litmus house rules from this year. So y'all can see like how the vibes are. So hold on. These are the litmus house rules from 2021. So you have to sign the house rules like that is mandatory because the house rules hold up Because the house rules you gotta abide by the house rules I did the same thing for my 30th birthday and I I've been meaning to do a 30th birthday recap Maybe I'll do that down the line, but whatever anyway, so these were the house rules I'll say a few just to give you an idea the number one rule in all the house rules ever in life You have to take an entry shot. It's it's mandatory. You have to take an entry shot Okay, then number two, anytime that we host something at our house, that's like an event. So I did this for my 30th, we did this for FTK last year, I mean for the litmus last year. You have to wear a name tag and the name on your name tag should not be your actual name. It has to be a made up name. And that's what like helps with the creativity. That's what helps with the jokes and stuff. So everybody this year had to write a name that was not their name. And um, when they did that, the name that's on your name tag, that's the name that you are to be called for the, throughout the entire night. So, basically, my name this past year was My Bad, y'all. And that was my Twitter name from when I was in college. If you know, you know. Um, so, My Bad, y'all was my name. And so, if anybody calls me Leah throughout the night, they had to take a shot. And that's here on the rules. If someone calls you out of your name tag name, that person takes a shot. And everybody signed, so you had to abide by it, right? And so another cool thing that I do that I feel like is super, super fun is I hide tickets around the house. So this year, last year, I think it was just black tickets and like maybe gold tickets. But this year, I did three color tickets. I did red, green, and gold. So the red tickets meant you had to make up a rule that will remain in play for the entire night. The green ticket means you can choose somebody to take a shot anytime that you want them to take a shot. So if you found a green ticket, that's what it was for. And then the gold ticket was party shot. Party shot means that everybody takes a shot. The only thing about this rule, though, is that you can only do one party, party shot. I put per hour, but I think we changed this to half hour. So you can only do one party shot per half hour. Because last year, people was um, throwing out the party shots every five minutes. We was like, Dad, can we digest? Can we digest? Like, it was crazy. So, I kind of put it so... Oh, I thought they were trying to get in my room. So, I kind of put it so that it was, you know, we had some time to digest before we took another party shot. And I put 10 red tags, 10 green tags, and 5 party shot tags. So, these are, like, the ones that you want to find 
And so it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. So I, I hit them across, I hit them across the, the second floor of the house and you had to find them. And whoever found them was able to either apply the rules, get people shots, or do the party shots. And then that's what makes it fun because it's like, you know, you, you, it's like you're a little kid again. You're doing a scavenger hunt. It's just fun. Okay. Um, next on the rules we had, oh, this is something new that I implemented. So basically I said, if you have a letter I in your first name, you may choose who you'd like to take a shot at 11.30 p.m. only. If they object to take the shot, you must play rock, paper, scissors, and then the loser of the rock, paper, scissors game has to take the shot. So, um, and it was funny because initially when I wrote this, I was thinking about everybody's first, like, actual first name. But then when it came down to it, it was like your name or your name tag because technically your name isn't in play. Your actual name tag name is in play. So, it was funny how that played out. <laughs> um, this is the one I got everybody, number seven. Hands to the ceiling, hands to the floor, be ready, last person drinks. So basically, um, if you if you just see somebody chilling like this, hold on. If you just see somebody chilling like this and they go like this, hands to the ceiling, then you have to just follow suit. And you can't say nothing. It's just like a silent, like you gotta make eye contact, you gotta just see what's going on. You gotta read the room. You gotta read the room. If everybody's hands in the air, your hand has to go up. And if you're the last person whose hand goes up, you have to take a drink. And the same thing, if you touch the floor, if you're the last person to touch the floor, you got to take a drink. So that was getting a lot of people. It was getting somebody in particular. I ain't going to say names, but it was really funny um, because we, like, just kept doing it. And that, that was, like, basically, like, what we did throughout the entire night. We just kept doing this and doing this and just getting people like when they not, they wasn't paying attention so like when you catch people and they're not paying attention and they be mad like it's funny i guess you just have to be there um also if you say the word christmas you have to drink <sighs> good vibes only so yeah these are like you know these rules i do this every single year create house rules i think um I think people tired of me and my house rules and my tickets. They only say that because they be mad that they can't find the tickets. But it'd be fun at the end of the day. We have a good time. So I'm going to enter some clips here. And I'll enter some clips so you can kind of see um, how the night went. It won't be like too long or too detailed. But yeah, it was a good night. It was a good night. So I'll say this. First litmus, it, it did not, this litmus this past Saturday, it did not top first litmus. First litmus will always be the littest litmus that we ever did have. I don't know what about that litmus was so lit, but it was just so lit. Like, we had so much fun. Not to say that we didn't have fun this past litmus, this past Saturday, but it was a good time. It was a good time. Um, So, yeah, that was litmus. I'm looking forward to the next litmus. I think... Word on the street is we probably going to uh, switch locations and probably like try to do it in the cabins, the Poconos or something. That would be really fun as well. But I don't care what nobody say. I'm still bringing my house rules because my house rules are lit. You feel me? It's very creative. You know, you got to think outside of the box in order to have fun sometimes. Okay. But also another thing that happened. Well, first of all, Saturday. Let me tell you something real quick. The way, the way Saturday went, I was supposed to, so the girls had like a little dance showcase, like a, a mini little showcase. Um, I'll enter some clips too. And I went to the showcase, then I had to drop the girls off at their grandmother's house. Then I had to like do a couple more things, run a couple more errands before I got back to the house. So even, even so, like their dance stuff ended like 11.30, 12 o'clock. I had like all the way until up about 8 o'clock to get stuff done. When I tell you there's holiday traffic, there's these holiday lines, everywhere, the grocery store, Dollar Tree, at the mall, everywhere. Everywhere I went, it was insane. And I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't make it back home till like 5 o'clock. And I still had to clean. <laughs> I still had to tidy up. I still had to... My intention was to have decorations up so, like, it could feel like a litmus litmus. I was going to put the tree up. I had to shower, get dressed. I was going to I was gonna film a get ready with me. Like, I was actually going to, like, you know, 
do the behind the scenes. I was going to also film a behind the scenes of me preparing for Lit Miss. So I also made drinks. I also made um, chopped cheeses. Like I, I did a lot behind the scenes and I wanted to, to that was going to be part of the episodes. But because I made it home at five o'clock, I couldn't even do it. And, I, and another thing on top of that is that I'm doing everything on my phone. So until I get a new phone, a new camera, whatever, I can't like I only have one device to really record and do stuff on. So I just couldn't do it. But I was so tight. Like, I was like, damn, I was supposed to at least have two, three episodes. And I was supposed to, sorry. And I was supposed to, I, I said sorry, like, I was cutting somebody else off. Like, it was me. Anyways, I was supposed to vlog Litmus. So, like, we had videos, but, like, I was supposed to vlog Litmus. Like, I was supposed to be like, yeah, la, la. I couldn't do it. Because I ran out of story space. You see? This is what I'm talking about. I forgot what I was saying. I had to go. Children were crying, so I had to go save the day. Um, but yes, I was supposed to vlog. I was supposed to do so many things. I was supposed to have some more content throughout the weekend, but it just didn't happen. And then Sunday after Litmus, I was just like dead to the world. I had to recover, obviously, because I'm not 21 anymore. <sighs> 30 and it don't the recovery process does not it is not the same it hit very different um when you in your 30s excuse me can you put my door please i don't know where i left off at but either way we had a good time it was a good it was a good night to like you know be around family and friends and you know, just enjoy everybody's company. Listen to music, vibe out. You know, get lit. And not feel like, you know, I'm stuck in mommy mode. <laughs> so it was cool. We had a good time. We also do Secret Santa. So that's another thing that we do. We do a Secret Santa um, gift exchange. We we get, do our gift exchange in a Soul Train line. Um, and we be like pump thinking and be like, oh, nope, not for you. And then we do. But you got to go down a Soul Train line and give out your gifts. It's real cute. We corny, but it's fun. We have good times. Um, so maybe the next FCK event I will record so y'all can see like the vibes and stuff, but we're, we're, we're trying to make it through Christmas. So hopefully we get some, uh, well, I get some Christmas spirit trickle down onto my soul. Cause right now I'm not feeling it, but sometimes you gotta fake it till, till you make it. Pretend like Rihanna said, pretend why not? I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. No, we're gonna pretend. That's what we're doing right now. We're pretending. Uh, so, yes. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all so much. Look out for the next episodes coming to you soon.